God knows what he's doing. And people of God, you've got to learn the power of waiting on God. We live in a fast-paced world. People want things when they want them. That's the kind of world we live in. It is a microwave generation. People now have the ability through technology to access information much quicker, to access it in ways in which were unimaginable just a few years ago. Very few people look through the phone book now because you can just Google, you can just communicate by tweet and Facebook and so much communication. Technology has its place. And we're able now to get stuff quicker, and we've been acclimated to what I wanted, I want it now. They even have a commercial. It's my money, and I want it now. People of God, God will show up in your situation, and I'm preaching this message because many of you need to understand that the real issue the enemy has with you is that you're so close to your season that he's about to lose his mind, but some of you need to just go on and declare, throw whatever you want to throw at me. I'm not going anywhere because I just feel like something is about to happen in my life. People of God, you need to understand you're so far out here that going back ought not even be an option. You might as well just go on and say, I'm just going to wait it out. Somebody shout, wait it out. And so people of God, listen at what Paul shares with this church at Galatia. He says, and let us be not weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not, or if we do not lose heart, that we have to recognize how to represent him in our witness. <laughs> you need to understand faithful person is this is that because you are faithful to a task does not exempt you from a delayed blessing that just because you are faithful you still might have to wait on what you believe in God for that's why you always have to keep your ego in check because if you're not careful your ego will rise up and make you think you better than everybody else because you're more faithful because you've been so faithful and you'll think that you're more righteous than everybody else but remember we are not saved by works we are saved by grace somebody here can be a witness if it had not been for the Lord none of us would be up in here today all of us are faithful but we got some show enough issues touch your neighbor and say I know that's right but then you got to be careful because if your ego is out of check, then you'll start running this issue that I feel like I deserve some entitlements. This is what happens when you've been faithful because then you begin to walk through life as though life owes you something. God owes you something. That's what a spirit of entitlement does. It makes you believe that you're accumulating spiritual brownie points because you've been faithful and that you can cash them in whenever you're ready. Some people believe because they give at a certain level level that they deserve a special seat. Other people believe because they've been faithful longer that they deserve certain privileges. But you got to understand just because you've been faithful, it doesn't exempt you from storms and rain and trials that you got to know God sees us all the same. The no matter how long the wait, always remember that God is at work in your life. God is providentially moving in the affairs of your life. And you got to understand this is an area where so many people struggle because this is where we want to know, what about the wait, preacher? What about the wait? How long do I have to wait? Let me tell you how long you got to wait. Wait until due season. Somebody shout due season. Bible says that, that if you be not weary in well-doing for in due season, season. This is important because this is about timing and God's timing is not our timing. God is not moved by this little watch we call time for the word says from everlasting to everlasting he is God. There are no emergencies with God because God can show up late, still be early, turn around and bless you yesterday for tomorrow. I just said something you missed it. God is so smooth like that. He'll just show up like that. God is never late and so the old folk would say he may not come Come when you want him to come, but when he shows up, he's always on time. To view this message in its entirety, please visit MountZionAnywhere.org.